What is up everybody? Welcome to the sixth video, I think, in these unboxings of the, um, how many crates was it? Seven? Something like that? Six? So, that's really it. Um, hopefully it's a good video for you. Hope you enjoy it. What's up guys? I just got back down to the storage unit today. It is a little after 7 a.m. Trying to get some stuff done before it gets too hot out. I think it's like 70 something right now, but the humidity is terrible. And then I think it's supposed to get to like 90 something, probably feel like almost 100. So I'm going to work for a few hours through the trailer, which is parked right there. You can see it there. So I'm going to work through the trailer and wow, this is like really glowing from the light. That's funny. But um, yeah, so uh, let's see what we can find today. So yesterday I ended up filling up these two bins of flea market that container that you saw probably in a different video but I've got a bin of stuff to look up over here which a couple sealers and stuff little Star Wars TV game 31 bag the paintball gun which is in a different video this case a little nose trimmer just some random stuff in there I've got this total flea market going that purple tote right there going um and then there's these jerseys which are kind of cool so this is like a st louis um classic jersey of some sort and this one is a joe montana jersey and it's got the patch down here at the bottom a throwback joe montana jersey it's kind of hard to do this with one hand found this other Joe Montana jersey throw it up here right there I think it's Joe Montana I'm probably saying that wrong but and then it's got the NFL 75 year patch on it and whatever that patch and then also the throwback patch on the bottom and then there was a Michael Vick jersey a couple pair of oh I forget the brand Cult of Individuality, I think, right there. A couple pairs of those. Another jacket I need to look up. But other than that, it wasn't anything too crazy. I mean, some of the other stuff you saw in the videos, like there's some... That drip. It's going to get really annoying right there. Got well, some jewelry. Some gold and some silver. Some stuff I need to test there, which I don't think most of it's real. But that's really it. So... I'm gonna start going through. I'm probably gonna do this off camera just to try to get there because then I'll probably do a bunch of clothes, which like those three bins are clothes, that's clothes. That one's clothes. That one's mainly clothes. I think that one's clothes. I'm gonna try to get through some clothes today, which isn't too fun to watch, but if I find anything cool, I'll definitely let you know. Or I might do a few boxes of just random stuff once I get tired of doing clothes. So let's get into it. Yeah, so I started going through this tote and I thought it was all clothes, but then it turns out it's not. So we're gonna through the camera and we're going to go through it real quick. Sounds like we've got some money in here. No, where is it? It's like stuck on the inside. I'll have to bust that open. Some underwear. That's heavy. V-I-S-M. Sounds like bullets, actually. And I was right. We got here some 9mm bullets. All in there. They corroded. Not bad. Box of 9mm. And another box. Someone paid $28 for this box. Here we go. Another full box. Hollow points. Not too shabby. Two boxes of nine millimeters. And someone might buy this little case too. Actually, I think I'm gonna put that to the side because it might go to something. We got the Norfolk Spartans hat. To look that up. Toss it in the bin. What we got here? Nortaki China. A little bowl. 
Sorry, the lighting's really bad. I'm gonna have to look this guy up too. A glass vase with a pair of sunglasses in it. Oh, I did find a quarter in this bin too. A little pair of sunglasses, Rebel or something like that. Yeah, I think that's it that's in here. It's like some like green stuff. Got a box. Yep, that can't be shown on camera. Put that away. Direct TV remote. You can use your imagination as to what was in there. Press toothpaste, toothpick. Everything like that always sells at the flea market. Some shampoo that's used. Got a little camo bag with nothing in it. Nada. Still sell it. Folder. Some hot sauce. I'm guessing this is full of flour. I can see a flour bag in there. Yeah, it's like flour. Piece of wood. A wallet. With a sheets card and a business card. Oh, some money. Not American though. Ten dollars from Guatemala, I think it was. Yeah, Guatemala. Ten bucks from Guatemala. I keep all the foreign money though. New pack of toothbrushes. Some gross slippers. Where's that wallet? Let's finish going through the wallet. Nothing in there. A couple pieces of paper. Well, it's pretty neat. Some Girl Scout cookies. A used VHS tape. Another one. A Boom Touch speaker. Huh. Let's see if that works. Got a fake earring. That's used. Mm, feels pretty full, I think. I think those are not used, I'm not sure. But we'll try it, sell it for a dollar, why not? Got some brand new sandwich bags. Soap. Why can I, a surge protector. For a second I couldn't remember what that was called. 10 cents, another 5 cents, toss it in, one thing of toothpaste, another dime, some sort of dove dry spray. Can opener. Another two pack of tooth, uh, toothbrushes. Another brand new thing of toothpaste. That's really it. Everything else in here is just some forks, a sock, notebook thing, a cord that I'll cut. But that's really it. Oh, let's see what's in here. Let's see this. Nothing. Nothing. So I legitimately just found this box at the bottom of this bag that was full of disgusting rags and like dirty clothes so i had to grab my camera and see what we got so maybe a real pearl necklace that sounds hopefully promising uh looks like just a little set it's probably not real or anything i think perfume and that's it so just goes to show you you gotta check everywhere but yeah it's just like a little Bracelet, earring, necklace set. Still not bad. I'll get some port at the flea market. 
So a little update. <clears throat> the sun's starting to come up. The trailer is slowly emptying itself. My clothes pile has gotten a lot bigger than it was. Let me flip this around real quick. So I've got a pile over here where I've got a North Face here. This is a polo jacket. This one's a champion. I got some other polo. I forget what brand this one is. A pair of Nike pants, a couple Adidas. They're like larger sizes, like 3X, 4X, which usually sell pretty good. There was one jacket in here. This one right here, which I can't remember the brand on. It was like ACMO or something like that, or M something something. Right here. Oh, come on. AKOO. With 4X with the tag on it, it was $124 when someone bought it. So I put that aside. Definitely gonna try to list that guy. And then found a couple pairs of Jordans. One, the Jordan Airs there in the back are really in bad shape, but I'm gonna look them up still. Some people still buy them. And then I found a pair of these. Aren't in too bad of shape. But then I decided to grab some other stuff to stop doing clothes for a little bit because it was getting monotonous. And I'm gonna throw the camera up. Turn the light on. I'm gonna throw the camera up and let's go through this stuff. There we go. Put the camera up. It's empty. Got a screwdriver there. Yeah. Screwdriver or something. And these are fairly empty. And those are pretty empty as well. Still sell the container. On to the next one. This one feels like it's got a decent amount in it. Sell that guy. Those two are pretty cool too. Sell both of them. Got pictures, put those aside. And that's it for that. Let's check out this can. Some sort of bandana. Something for an inhaler. Put some stuff there. I found a bunch of these yesterday. Some of them were open, some of them were new. Got some command hooks here. A pair of sunglasses. What else do we have hiding in here? A little sewing kit, piece of wood, got a bottle opener, or corkscrew thing, oh, a little Gerber multi-tool, I'll sell that guy online probably, some candle waxes that we used, got a little charging bay thing, portable charger, wallet, looks empty. With a big stain on it. Let's check through the pockets real quick, make sure there's nothing hiding in it. Bottle open. There's a SD adapter. A 410 shotgun shell. That's a slug. Yeah, that's really it. Wires. Little fidget spinner. Yeah, well, that's the one there. So let's see what we got next. All right, and we have a new box. <clears throat> Looks like we've got a couple, one oil lamp and part to one. She works. We'll sell this guy. Brown zip tie here. Actually, you know what? For right now, I'm going to keep this because I think starting next week, since it's supposed to be even more, even worse in heat. I'm going to keep this aside 
so I can put it in the trailer at night. Flashlight doesn't work. A little pot. Some leggings, I think. And some more leggings or trousers or pantyhose, whatever you want to call them. Got a little purse here with nothing in it. A Q-tip. A Hurricane Part 2, one of the oil lamps. They'll probably end up getting broken. Pantyhose. Some sort of certificate with broken glass. I don't want to cut myself on that. A hanger. A little makeup bag of some sort, empty. Some underwear up and into the rat poop. And mouse poop. Set dominoes. Some pictures here. Inside. And this is more pictures. We'll put these aside. Table runners? I don't know. Nasty built. That's kind of neat. A little butterfly on a piece of wood or something. Got a flag. A little case here. There's a tic-tac-toe little box here. All your little pieces in it. And then your board on top. That's a cool little ceramic dog. That's pretty neat. These are all pictures. A little brass crab. And there's some more pictures and then a couple more knick-knacky things down in here. Not a whole lot, so I'm just going to cut the camera off so I can go through these pictures. And I need to get another flea market tote going. So I just found these at the bottom of a box. Another, I think it was a different video. Not exactly sure, but a Charles Raymond watch. Nothing special, but it's in its case with another band and what, or I think maybe the band, I'm not sure. But it's in good shape. This um, Techno Pave watch... Another Techno Pave watch there. A little Masonic, I think it's a Masonic emblem watch. And then an Oak Rush and just a Made in China watch. And this Cuba Prestige clone. So, I mean, nothing really special, but still kind of cool. So, I just got done going through this purse. It is really beat up on the inside. Found a bunch of perfume and then a bunch of this jewelry here, which I'm pretty sure that's gold. And this earring is silver. I'm going to look through it real quick, and I'll let you know what we got. I also forgot that I found this necklace and these couple necklaces and some watches. But none of this is real. The only thing that was was this earring that I'm pretty sure is 10 or 14 carat. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really read the marking. And then this is silver. So, a little bit of gold and silver. So I grabbed this tote thinking that it was all going to be closed because that's what it looked like from this side. But this was in there. Donkey Kong from 1981 little um, tabletop version. Oh, and the battery compartment looks really good. I don't know what it's worth. I'm going to look it up real quick and I'll let you know. So from the comps that I found, it's like anywhere from about $60 to $75 all the way up to like 150 but this one isn't in the best of shape there was one that was sold brand new in the box for like 700 wish i had that but that's still a really cool find right there so this can was in that box too i just started pulling stuff out and then i started seeing coins so i grabbed my camera and threw it on looks like those are just like hunting club coins or something there's part of a bill there we have here some quarters from the 80s, maybe sent some older coins in there. I don't know if there's anything in there. 
Feels like there's a coin in there. Nothing in that. Some dimes and pennies, I think. More coins. Looks like some foreign stuff. Also foreign. Couple coins in there. As everything falls out. Pennies. Some more foreign stuff and then there's some more in there. I'm going to look there and see if there's any silver or anything like that in here. So it doesn't look like it's going to be anything too crazy. There's a 1910 dime there, or nickel, I mean, some buffalo nickels. A couple, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of silver nickels, it looks like, maybe some silver dimes. And the foreign money, there's a lot of wheat pennies, but nothing really crazy. In this little red bag was this 1940, I don't know what country that's from. And then this one as well. So, nothing crazy. But the Donkey Kong thing came out of that crate, and then also there was this, which I believe is a Grateful Dead t shirt. I believe that's what it says, and it's marked 1977 on it. And then this t shirt as well, which looks like an old band t shirt, too. Asking Alexander, Alexandria, or something like that. But those are two cool little shirts. But not terrible. Well, I found one of the dead mice right there. And there's probably more in this bag because it has food. We're getting through this though, about halfway done. It's getting hot out. Just pulled this out of a suitcase. I haven't really looked through it, just kind of glanced at it. And it doesn't look like anything at all. But let's take a peek. You can just kind of tell pretty quickly. I don't think any of this is real. I highly doubt any of that's real. I'll take a closer look. Yeah, but I did find this in that same suitcase, which are real pearls, and it's a 14 karat gold clasp. So that's not a terrible little find. But I doubt any of this is going to be real. So I am basically quitting for today. I'm about, I don't know, but basically from here. And the V's right there, so I'd say half the trailer done, a little over half. So let's show you some of the stuff that we found. Found some, yeah, there's like a smart trip card, some gift cards. Gotta call them and see if there's anything on them. Um, I did find the camera for this box. Found that camera. Got this older camera. Ended up finding three phones. This phone, that one there, and that Samsung. Found that Samsung tablet. And then this Acer little laptop there. Nothing too crazy. Found a little projector that probably won't bring too much money at all. This whole box is DVDs. This CD player I need to test it and see and look it up. It might sell online. Did find an Xbox and a GameCube. I knew those were in there. Um, some coach purses up there that are not in the best of shape. A Redskins cooler. Did find a Verizon router, which I've sold those before just for parts. Flea market area stacked up. I think we did two, three, like four totes today or something like that. It's just hot and it's almost feels like 100 out here and it's, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I found a couple other things I need to look up, like whatever that thing is, some satellite type thing. This thing's from the 80s, I wanna look it up. But other than that, everything else you've, that I found that was pretty cool, you've seen. So, got another flea market tote still rolling, but I'm about to pack everything up, put stuff back in the trailer, close it, and get out of here. I'm gonna to go to the landfill, because as you can see, the truck is pretty full of trash. So I'm gonna head out of here for today, and see when I'm coming back down next. I think it's supposed to be like unbearably hot tomorrow, so I guess we'll figure that out, but I'm out of here for now.